Hello, it's Ken. Thank you for watching. We're in Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. The word issues occurs 49 times in the scriptures, and it's a reference to something that's flowing out or coming out. For example, in uh, Leviticus 12, it talks about a woman having an issue of blood. And then over in Ezekiel 47, it talks about uh, an issue of water coming up below the threshold. Uh, and then also in 2 Kings 20, it talks about uh, a woman having an issue of sons, like having children. It's never a reference to, in the scriptures, it's never a reference to debate or situation or dispute or relationship or social event or, or something like that. It's a reference to something flowing out or coming out. So when the Bible says, keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life, it's a reference to the blood that's flowing out of your heart. The Bible says the life of the flesh is in the blood. The Bible, so, the Bible says that Jesus Christ came that we would have life and have it more abundantly. So our relationship with Jesus Christ affects the quality of our blood. It affects our health. See, the creator of your body and the author of scriptures are one and the same. The author of this book is our creator. We are designed with the need for scriptures, we are designed with that need. The Bible says in James 1, uh, it talks about receiving the, with meekness the engrafted word. This word actually becomes a part of you, becomes a part of your body, and we have a need for the scripture. Now, lately I've been uh, following a website in the UK, uh, cry.org.uk, uh, c-r-y.org.uk. And lately, in the UK, there have been 12 young people dying every single week. 12 young people dying every single week. And obviously, we want to extend our condolences to the families, and we really feel for the families. But these youth are, are dying from heart problems. I'd like to quickly show you a screen print. That's a, a screen print that I printed and uh, from the website. And these youth, I mean, variety of ages, I see... Uh, 17 years old, I see 15 years old, I see 14 years old, I see 12 years old, I see boys, I see girls. And these are all dying from heart problems. I did some reading and research, and kind of my conclusions are that it's not related to uh, coronary blockage in the heart. You know, when you get up in the ears, uh, your, your coronaries, you have blockages from cholesterol buildup, etc. And the doctors, what they do, they go in and do a, what they call an angioplast and uh, balloon you and put it in a little stent, just open up, you know, veins, that kind of thing. Uh, I don't think that's, in general, that's the problem. It's more of electrical in nature. See, your heart is an electrical uh, muscle. I'd like to show you a diagram that I, I drew out. And this is a, a diagram of the heart. And the heart has like four chambers. It has like one, two, three, four. And this is uh, Sinai in the heart. And this is your AV right here, the, what we call the AV node. These four chambers, the electricity starts right here. And it goes out, it spreads out, and eventually comes down to the AV node, which brings the electricity down to the two ventricles below. Okay, This is called atriums. These are your two atriums. And... There's various routing that carries the electricity down to the AV node. And when the electricity passes through, when the electricity passes through uh, these muscles, it causes them to contract. And that's how the heart, heart operates. But what the problem is today in a lot of cases is there's what they call artifacts or places in the heart that are given off electricity that are not supposed to. And so it causes the, the heart to operate irregularly. And so electrical, your body operates with electricity. I'm like I'm moving my fingers with electricity. And your heart operates with electricity. And so what I'm discovering is a lot of these problems with the youth are electrical in nature. And, you know, when you think, it affects your heart. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And so... If you think something scary or let's say somebody scares you or some event happens that scares you, what happens? Your beats per minute increases. It affects your heart rate. See, as you, th as you think, it affects your heart. And so when you raise children, 
without the Word of God, then it has negative effects on their health. See, we are designed with the need for the Word of God. And I would like to give you a prescription for your children. I suggest that you give your children one chapter a day of Proverbs. The word prescription contains the word script, prescription. Script is an abbreviation for scripture. And so I'm suggesting that you give your children one chapter a day of Proverbs, every single day, one chapter at least. Proverbs has 31 chapters. It has one chapter for every day of the month. Whatever the date is, you read that chapter. Proverbs was designed to make a young man wise like overnight, like real quickly. Proverbs chapter 1, I'll give you a little introduction to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 4, to give subtly to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. Subtly is the ability to get out of a trap. Uh, to the young man knowledge and, and uh, discretion. Uh, chapter 2 starts out, my son. Chapter 3 starts out, my son. Chapter 4 starts out, hear ye children. Chapter 5 starts out, my son. Chapter 6 starts out, my son. Chapter 7 starts out, my son. So this is basically, Proverbs is basically wrote to make a young person wise real quickly. You can like take your finger, I mean, if you open your Bible down the middle, you usually get Proverbs, but you can take your finger and just drop it on any verse in Proverbs, and you can read that verse a couple times, and you get it. It's real easy to understand. We're, we're designed with the need for the Word of God. Kids, kids need the Word of God. In the USA, they have removed the Bible from public schools. They have removed the Ten Commandments from public school. They have removed prayer from public school. They have, they're trying now to take God out of the Pledge of Allegiance. They're trying to totally remove God out of everything as our nation moves more into atheism. And so we, you as parents, we as adults, need to make sure that our children get the Bible. They need it not only for their character development. You know, the Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go, and, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The child needs, children need Bible for character development, but they also need it for their health. We're fearfully and wonderfully made. We're supposed to receive with meekness the engrafted word. Engrafted is to join together. You read and study the Bible, and it actually becomes a part of you. And that's our prescription. That's our prescription. We want to encourage you to uh, expose your young people to the Word of God. They need it. They really do need it. Not just, not just for character development, but they need it for their health. Uh, for the many families out there that have lost their youth, uh, we want to extend our condolences to you. We're very, very sorry. And um, for you other families that uh, have children, we want to encourage you to train up a child uh, with the scriptures, and um, hopefully they will not have these problems. And granted, uh, you know, there's going to be exceptions, but... Um, Hopefully, they will not have these kind of problems. In the USA, you know, we talked about how they've removed uh, the Bible out of the schools. What they've done, they put in the schools AED, like AEDs. They're on the walls, they're like fire extinguishers. Uh, AEDs are defibrillators, or a device for jump starting the heart. And see, the public schools in the USA know that the youth are having problems with their heart. That's why they got these devices in there. Uh, this is a recent thing they're doing. It hasn't been like that in the past. And it certainly was not like that when I was in my youth in public school. So anyway, this has just been something to consider. Uh, we hope that this little devotion has been a blessing to you. Uh, thank you very much for watching.